Hello friends and welcome back to my studio. So I just have a quick little something for you today. I get a lot of questions about what I use for my pouring medium. So I just want to go over that today and I'm getting ready to leave for fluid art experience. So when I get back, I have a couple of really large commissions and I'm also going to be doing a couple of art walks. So I need to get my inventory up a little bit. So I'm going to have to be doing a lot of painting when I got back. So I figured that this would be a good chance to show you guys how I mix up my pouring medium. So a couple of things. Um, I only have three ingredients and I forgot to pull one of them out. One is US Floetrol. Get this at any hardware store usually or paint supply place. And then this is Golden's regular gel gloss okay you do want the regular not the heavy body and you can get other brands of this um jacks uh i'm sure liquitex has something similar it's a very common art uh supply so any of those will do but make sure you get the regular gel gloss medium not the heavy or super heavy body because those don't tend to break down as well you have to do a lot more work to get where you want to go um, I'm also going to be using a drill today. This is just a cheap cordless drill that I keep for my studio. You do not have to use a drill, especially if you're not big using, mixing up large quantities. Um, but it will make your life a little bit easier if you're doing big quantities. At the very least, if you're doing a big quantity and don't have a drill or don't want to invest in one, I would suggest getting like a large heavy whisk that you keep only for your art supplies and use that to whisk it up because it's gonna, it's just gonna be a lot easier for you, okay? Now, the other thing I wanna go over is I am not going to be giving you an exact, exact recipe. And there's a few reasons. I know we all really, really want a perfect recipe that we can go back to time and time again. And I just feel like that's really hard to do for a couple of reasons. A, if one of your major components is Floetrol, there are a couple of different factories that produce the same product. It will look exactly the same, but depending on what factory it came from, it will have different consistencies. Some will be thinner, some will be thicker, okay? The other major issue is depending on where you live, you might have things thinner or thicker anyway. So like my studio is in an attic and it is not a very well climate controlled attic. It was never meant to be a, a living space. So I have trouble keeping it at a really consistent temperature. So in the summertime, it's a little warmer. In the wintertime, it's a little on the cooler side that will affect my product. So in the winter time, I need things a little bit thinner than I normally would use, um, or at least they look and feel thinner because it's cooler in the ambient air and it's opposite in the, the summertime. Everything gets really thin and watery, so I like things extra, extra thick when I go to mix paints, okay? I use this mixture for pretty much everything except for blooms and I don't use it for um, my pearl pores, uh, for the base part of the pearl pour. You can use this for your colors that layer over top, but for the pearl pour base, you can't use this or for the, like if you're doing a cloud over sort of technique like Sarah Taylor, you won't use this for the cloud over portion either. So. If any of that was confusing, please feel free to uh, drop me a comment below and I will try to clarify any of that sort of thing. So I am, uh, I'm going to change the view of the camera and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. So here I have some Floetrol that I, I shook the bottle really well. You always want to shake your bottle really well before you start using it. And then I also filtered it. So I ran it through um, one of these reusable paint filters. I didn't really get many gobber, goobers out, so that's great. Um, and then I forgot the other ingredient is GAC 800 that I use. So my 
recipe is basically about three quarters or 75% flood flow withdrawal and then about 25% of the gel gloss. And I like my uh, mix to be very, very thick, okay? That way I can always thin it down, but I like it to have a good thick consistency. Just want to bring you in for a close-up so you can see how thick that is and that is exactly what I'm looking for